Hey everybody and welcome to the very first episode of the Mallow Mart Mailbag newly started series on the Zelda Realm, Zelda Realm where you guys send your questions and I answer them in video form just like this. And the first question comes from the username Red Bomber X, a good friend of mine, and asks Will you be reviewing Hyrule Storia? Also, keep up the great work. Um, Red Bomber X, I'm gonna have to say that I probably won't be reviewing Hyrule Historia, unless, of course, everybody wants me to do it. Uh, everybody, as in you guys, the subscribers. Uh, the problem is, I don't own Hyrule Historia, though I do plan on purchasing a copy sometime. Very interesting read, especially for any true Zelda fan like myself. And, uh, I definitely want to have a look into it. Um, if you guys really demand it, I'll do a review. But as of now, I'm gonna say I'm probably not gonna do it. Question 2 comes from somebody that has not enclosed his username and asks, What are your thoughts on the Wind Waker remake? Does it have potential, or is it just a waste of time? My thoughts on the Wind Waker remake are that it is a pretty good idea. Uh, originally, my first idea for a remake was gonna be Majora's Mask. That's just my opinion. I thought Majora's Mask would be the greatest idea for a remake on the Wii U, uh, seeing with the new HD graphics and if anybody's seen the leaked trailer or fan made trailer, whatever it was. But the graphics on that were insane. I would love to play Majora's Mask like that. You'd probably even get a Wii U just for that. Uh, Wind Waker, the art style, just makes me think that doesn't really need a remake, although it is a pretty cool idea. So, altogether, I would have to say that a Wind Waker remake is pretty cool, especially after I saw the screenshots for it and all that. So, uh, I'd definitely get it if I was, uh, if I owned a Wii U myself. Question 3 comes from Zelda is my alter ego and asks. Hello, if you could have any piece of Triforce, which would you pick? Personally, I'd have to go with Wisdom, probably, just like Zelda. The thing is, uh, not to be cocky or anything, but I think I'm already pretty courageous guy. It's just in my nature to be adventurous, maybe it's all that Zelda adding up to me. But, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just not the most wise guy. I mean, I get angry pretty often. Uh, I get, I get pretty, pretty worked up pretty easily. So, to have the virtue of wisdom would be pretty cool. Question 4 comes from somebody that has not closed his username also, and asks, What is your favorite item in The Legend of Zelda? And mine is, by far, the hookshot or the claw shot, whatever you want to call it, whatever version it is. Why is my favorite? Probably because it is the trademark Legend of Zelda item. I mean, some could say it's the bow and arrow, but I'd have to differ, I mean, look at Skyrim, or any game like that, I also have the bow and arrow. It's not really specified for one certain game. That's why I'd have to go with the hookshot or the claw shot, because that kind of symbolizes Zelda with one item. Not to mention they're extremely useful, especially when they're in doubles, like in Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess, cling around everywhere like your Spider-Man. I think that's pretty cool. Question 5 comes from Draco Rex and asks, actually asking me a whole lot of questions, but I'm gonna have to answer this one right here. Where's the rest of Hyrule and Wind Waker? There's no sign of any village, dungeon, or even Hyrule Field, just a linear path from the castle to Ganon's Tower. Uh, well, you know, Hyrule's kind of submerged underwater. Uh, maybe it's the magic around Hyrule Castle that kept it alive. It's not like there was any magic protecting anything else, if you thought of that. Just like how everything went black and white in Hyrule Castle, there was obviously some sort of um, protection around it. And uh, obviously you can't have all of Hyrule protected, I mean that's just not how Zelda works. And at the end they probably all got destroyed, washed away or something like that. It isn't the Great Flood anyways, it was obviously extremely destructive. And the places that survived, survived just like Gans Tower, Hyrule Castle, all that. And thanks for watching the very first episode of Malamart Mailbag. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like rating. It really helps me out. Also, make sure to like the Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter for the latest updates. Can't stress how important that is. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to comment below so I can know if I should continue the series, if it's interesting or anything like that. And thanks for watching. See you for now.